it's one of my favorite looking tricks. If I see a good front trick, uh, front crook, I'm like, oh God, that look. even a crooked grind. If somebody locks into a nice crooked grind and just grinds and yeah. just stays on there, those two tricks, man, whoo, beautiful, Amazing. beautiful, sure. love Definitely. it. Well, let's talk about the leap of faith, man. What's going on with that? <laughs> Wow. Wow. You like that transition? What? It was good. Oh, no, what's there to talk about? I don't know, but uh, it's it's one of the it's one of the most iconic Jamie Thomas thing. Uh, you didn't. Does that mean you're out of questions? No, no. Did no, we talk no, about no, that on his no. on his episode? I think we touched on it a little bit. I think we touched we on did. it. A little we did. No, we didn't touch on it. It was the last thing you brought the interview back to life for it. Well, listen. How can I not bring it up? It's the leap Doing of it faith, again. you know. I'm just like, no. But I, I recently watched something because I, you know, we were you were gonna come on the show. And I, I watched this thing, and when you were talking about the leap of faith, and I thought it was interesting that you were saying that that was the transition from toy machine over to zero, and you were saying that that trick obviously wasn't gonna be the cover because you didn't make it. And so how how did you get that? You know leap of faith you're taking this leap of faith from toy machine over to your it was like it's poetic you know what i mean like i thought that was, was that very the, interesting was that the 15 things you don't know about zero no it was something YouTube? where you, you you were uh it was an interview oh okay i don't know what it was but it was just uh it was just an interview of you talking about the leap of faith hmm. is there something else i should have watched <laughs> no, uh, some friends of mine in canada this guy levi did a did a um a youtube episode for their skate shop they do 15 things you didn't know about x like 15 oh, okay. things you didn't know about baker 15 things you didn't know about this guy or that guy mm -hmm. anyway he you can tell where he got all his information he called me and, and interviewed me and i told him questions that he asked and oh, some a lot okay. of it's a lot of it's right and there the, um but anyway i think we talk about it on there but yeah that that was the the, the scenario i don't i don't know what i have to add to it but yeah that was it it was it was more it was like a I don't know, a for, a, a, an old school meme where you have a, a, pun, a pun in your ad and no one acknowledged that it was a leap of faith leaving Toy Machine. I don't know why, maybe because they were distracted by the guy hucking himself off the okay. second story. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah, um, sure. But, but it turned into everyone called the gap that. But Adrian Lopez came up with that. Yeah. We were like midnight midnight at Tumiato back in the day and we were working on an ad and I was like, Hey, what do you, what do you think we should put, what do you think we should call this gap or, you know, what, what should we, whatever, put in this ad. And he just like yelled it out, leap of faith. And Perfect. Like, Whoa, that's cool. Did you um, ever want to go back and try it again? Or was yeah, that Yeah, there was a, there was a time around from like 98 to 2001 where I like had it on my list of mm. like, okay, when my part gets this much done, I'm going to go try it again. Right. And, um, and then in 99, I blew my, well, 90, 90, early 99, I broke my wrist. And then late 99, I blew my knee out. Mm. And then 2000, I had another knee injury and had another surgery. Ugh. And then 2001, I had another ACL surgery. So I had three years, three knee surgeries in a row. And it just started to become like, that's not worth it. It's like I want to film it. a video. I want to film like in the middle of dying to live. It was like, that would have been the time mm -hmm. I was young enough, but i had had three knee surgeries and I was like, I just want to skate for a while. I don't want to go back and like have, you know, now that I have this weakness and it's in my mind, I had three knee surgeries on the same knee in three years. Wow. And so I was like, I was like, you know, I want to do this, but I also just want to, enjoy being able to skate again because this has been a really tough couple of years yeah. and you know there was times in there where they couldn't figure out what was wrong with my knee and it was swelling up and i'd already had surgery and it took like a year to heal from the surgery in between the two acls and i was i was shook man that's it was a, tough it was, that's a I, mental I, battle Fuck. yeah it was it was the toughest one the toughest thing that i'd experienced in my skate career hmm. um and then I got over the hump though, and we finished Dying to Live in 2002. And then I just, the kind of desire for that, like business was picking up and falling had started. And I don't know, I just didn't have that same beef with it, you know, like I did when I was younger. It almost is like, it's almost better you didn't Better like you did. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like, it, I mean, seriously. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> no, no, but, but it, it's preserving it's your almost, body. It's, it's iconic, though. It's, it's the most like, iconic trick that wasn't you know, landed. That wasn't landed. I know it sounds weird, yeah. but it's still 
incredible like it's iconic for sure and did we talk about the the reason why you think you didn't land it was the speed you thought you thought if you weren't faster you could you could have pulled it what's so funny yeah Jamie? i was going was too slow <laughs> oh, you were I'm, going just, uh, I'm laughing because we're talking about the leap of faith of all things <laughs> and I, I feel like i've talked about this to death but i'm down I'm it's down. fun i mean dude it's it's um, it's great i love it um i'm not trying to be a snob either i'm just i just you know, I'm, I'm hanging in there. Okay. <laughs> thanks, thanks for bearing with us. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Nobody was um, a speed, right? It was a speed. Yes. I, I, you know, when you jump off really high stuff, the faster you go, the more dangerous it is because the more inertia that you create. Sure. And the more force you create and the scarier it is. Mm-hmm. So I went a comfortable speed to know I would land on the board and not kick it out. Because I didn't know what had happened. I'd never jumped off anything higher than a vert ramp. Okay. Um, which a vert ramp is like 12 and a half around that time. Mm-hmm. And I jumped off vert ramps at demos and made ollies off vert ramps. Mm. So I knew I could do 12 and a half feet. But it's a pretty big jump. I don't know what it is, 16 or 18 at my highest point. Sure. Whatever that is, it was a three or four foot jump higher than anything I'd ever jumped off of. So I didn't really know what speed to go. I just knew that I wanted to be comfortable enough to land on it and not bail. Right. And when you get into the really big gaps, like the bigger gaps in my career, everything is about landing on it. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. all 100% of your emphasis is about not kicking out because when you land on the board, whether you pack and roll forward or the board shoots out, either way, the momentum is getting dispersed. Yeah. When you yeah. kick out and you land on all your feet and you land Oof. on your feet, you're going into a role, no matter if you like it or not, mm-hmm. but the impact that your body absorbs and your feet absorb is way greater than if you land on the wheels and the board shoots out or the board goes behind you and you turn, go into a role. Sure. Um, so, you know, anybody that skates big gaps will tell you landing on it is the most important thing, yep. especially if all you're doing is an ollie. You got no excuse. Sure. All you do is hit your tail like you've done a million times and not, not, not bail, yeah. you know? Right. But you have to have a serious, like, self-talk session with yourself (laughs) that says no matter what i am not kicking out i am not kicking out no matter what and you have to convince every ounce of your being that you're not going to kick out you know like if some guy's going to go jump el toro oh god for example you know yeah like don the nuge back in the day you know you got to just be like i'm not going to kick out sure no matter what if i land on the stairs that's better than (laughs) that's better than kicking out wow man so anyway, that, that's the only thing I can say is, yeah. is that, that that was the goal. Land on the board. I went the speed that I thought I could land on the board without kicking out or getting freaked out. And if you watch the footage in slow motion, the board hits the ground just before my feet. And my board comes off my feet. The oh, board no. hits. The board hits and slows down. My body keeps going forward. So it took my back foot from the bolts and put it right in the middle of the board. And my front foot goes on the nose. I stomp the board out. Okay. And then because my foot's on the nose my ankle was like at a little bit of an incline kind of sprained my ankle Mm. and then i pile drive my hip because i'm jumping off of something way higher than (laughs) i should be and i get up and i limp away and i'm like oh i'm done man no more of that today wow i mean just to try that heavy bro yeah just to try that is insane (laughs) bro psycho like wow it's one of those days 23 years ago like i'm feeling good today like let me try you know what i mean like let me just jump off this two-story building